Coach Anthony here with the Way of Life Boot Camp. Make sure you click the link, click the link below. And uh, real quickly, I'm talking about just that slight improvement. All some of us need, we're really one skill away, right? And one skill away. Because a lot of people that are normal and average, they're not doing these types of skills. And it doesn't bring, uh, you know, the, the right amount of, what would you say, motivation, inspiration in all different ways that they need to be able to become better. Uh, in a book that I was reading, it talked about um, this young girl. The true story is that she was going to a university and she was going as a honor roll student. And when she she's an honor roll student in her school and she was top in her high school. She went to the college and she found out that she was top thousand in the college. And so being a top thousand, not being the top person there, uh, it was kind of bewildered her. And she was like, man, uh, how am I going to be able to do this? Well, she'd been reading, she was reading 10 pages of a book a day constantly on a constant basis since she was young that her son, her, her uh, dad had taught her, the, 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 the man's name is Jeff Olson. And of course, this went into other types of things. But what this created for her is kind of like an owner's mentality. The owner is like usually the first one in, the last one out. They see gum on the floor. They'll pick the gum. They'll scrape the gum off the floor. Uh, they'll throw the the things in the trash that need to be thrown in the trash that maybe other other employees wouldn't do. And this is just on a business realm, but just in life too as well. So what he created was a superstar because of her reading that way. She had built up not only 30 minutes of extra meaning, reading a day, but it became an hour or two hours. And what had happened when she got in uh, with all these other students that were thousands of them um, that uh, were on a roll, she was able to move to the top of even in her college because of the fact she was able to see it was that extra reading that she did. And it became, just that small momentum became even bigger and bigger over the years. And it got to her to where she would do extra two hours of reading, three hours of reading in a day. It was nothing for her to kill the, to get those books done, to kill those books and get them done. Where others, they had to stop because they're like, man, I, I'm not going to read the extra books. you know. So that is critical, right? It's just those small things. And one other small thing which rings out huge is breathing. Right, I'm just going to talk about just five reasons why you should breathe. And what I do is I wake up with 50 deep breaths right in the morning. We're talking about the morning. I talked about water earlier, how critical that is. I do 50 deep breaths in my nose, into my stomach, and out my mouth. Right, And what that creates is um, when you breathe, you're relieving toxins, up to 70% of the toxins in your body when you breathe in. When you breathe out, you're breathing out that carbon dioxide. Now, once again, the toxins. How many toxins do we have in our body from what we breathe in from the person that's smoking a cigarette? Maybe you got some nail, your nails done and you're breathing in that, that I hate that smell, the nail polish smell, right? Uh, maybe the, just, you know, you live in a city, so they're blowing stacks out of the, you know, out of the businesses or, you know, or out of the semi trucks, right? Whatever that is, right? Um, uh, you're getting a lot of toxins in your body and a great way to detoxify is through your breathing and you start that early in the morning. Also too, it releases tension. It releases pain. That's the second thing. Uh, tension and pain happens. What happens when you get angry? We usually tense up. If you remember to breathe when you're angry, in your nose, out in your chest, down into your stomach, wow, how that can help you get through that pain much faster. It relieves emotional stress. I remember one time, it was a quick story, as I was coming up to speak, and actually uh, P. Diddy's um, at an event, not P. Diddy wasn't there, but his assistant was there, and just I was just perplexed, and they had all these other great speakers over there, and I'm like, what do I have to offer? I almost was going to run off. Not even run off the stage, but not even go on the stage. And I was called up to speak on, you know, the importance of, uh, you know, health, the physical mind, body, and soul. And uh, make a long story short, I took a deep breath because I was so stressed out, wanting to leave, because I felt like I had nothing to offer. And I'll tell you what, I breathe. I took that deep breath. I got on stage. I blew it up. You know, thankful to God. And I'll tell you what, that's my little daughter, Navea, six months old. Right? That's <laughs> beautiful. But uh, I took that deep breath. And uh, that's my beautiful daughter, Alexis, too, as well. And I went on and went on the stage, and I, and I rocked it. Um, at the end, they had me come up as one of the best speakers. I, I was amazed. I was amazed by that. That deep breath set the tone. If I didn't take a deep breath, I would have went up there all stressed, and who knows what would have happened, right? And then also, too, massaging. It massages your organs, your brain, oxygenates your brain. The more oxygen you get to different parts of your body, the more healing you're going to have, whether it's soreness, whether it's a break of a bone, ankle sore or you know whatever it is a sprain okay uh your you know your thoughts uh which leads to your emotions it's 
Breathing is critical. Liver for your liver, kidneys, and massages the stomach. So breathing, that's critical. Coach Anthony with the Way of Life Boot Camp.